Hi guys, back again with another video. Now this video is going to be a real life review of the Amcat Evo Gamepad Pro 4. Now this is a gamepad which you can use for different games. Now uh, this one uh, actually supports a lot of things. I will be talking about that. Uh, I've been using this for two months. Uh, I was using a, a different one, a steel word one, a smaller one before. So this one is much more advanced than that. I've got more options. So I'll be talking about that. Uh, we'll be talking about what to expect if you want to play games on this. Um, does it support all the games? Uh, how long the battery life is and all that thing. We'll be talking about everything. So first of all, uh, let's see what do we get in the box itself. So let's uh, open this up. So that's what you get in the box. So you get the controller itself. You get a micro USB charging cable and you get some user manual and pamphlet. So this is very important. So when you start, uh, you need to set up the gamepad. So you have to go through everything over here. So let's keep this aside. Let's take a look at the manual. So this is the quick start guide, which will actually tell you how to set it up. Uh, there are different modes. So you have instant play mode and HID mode. So HID mode, uh, you have to uh, switch it on using home and X button instant mode home and a button so this has modes for uh, Android and iOS both of them but iOS is no longer supported so on the box itself it says that uh, anything uh, about 13.4 iOS 13.4 is not supported but right now everything has gone beyond 14 so ios is no longer supported you cannot use it on a iphone don't buy it for an iphone period so let's take a look at the device itself so you have two joysticks one over here one over here so if you're playing pubg or uh, cod or any of those games you can use this to run this to turn and then you have a lot of buttons so let's see the buttons so these are the buttons so you have the select button the turbo button the start the clear button one joystick here, one joystick over here, one pad over here. So you have Y, B, A and X over here. You open this up, you have the switch on and the home button. Uh, at the back, you have two extra buttons which are missing from regular joy pads. Uh, then you have two buttons on this side and two buttons on this side. So left and right, you have two, two buttons. So this has all the buttons you need. So when you hold the uh, joystick, sorry, the <laughs> game pad, you hold it like this. So these two fingers go over here. This go over here. So you can control every aspect of the game. So very nice option. Let me just show you the ports. So you have one port here, the micro USB charging port. That's it. No other ports available. Now the finishing on this is premium. Uh, over here you have good grip. Uh, this is not glossy. Uh, you got a nice grippy material over here. So when you grip it, you don't need to grip it with your fingers. Over here itself, this grips it very well and then you can use your uh, rest of the fingers to play the game easily. You open this up and then put the phone. So let's talk about what to expect from this. Uh, when you put a phone, if you have a cover like this, even without this, it does not stay there properly. You will have to remove the cover and put it that way. Uh, if you have a small phone, then it's okay. Otherwise, you'll have a little bit of problem. Now, one problem I've been having with this is since I have the Note 10T Pro, uh, this has the um power button over here so because of that it does have a little bit of balance issue because it comes right there it uh, goes over that if i center it then it goes over that and this has a little bit of balance issue if you have a big phone if you uh, keep it like this this will topple you will have to keep it a little like this for it to stay there but uh, when, when you're playing a game at that time it doesn't matter you can use it that way you can also use this like this you can actually keep this with your stand like that over there and then use the joy pad <laughs> the game pad separately so that's also an option i have used this option a lot where i've kept the phone separate and then use this uh, like this so in case you want you can do that so it's flexible that way now um let's see how to actually use it now it's already configured to my phone so when i switch it on it should okay it should automatically connect i had put it on wife uh, on airplane mode okay so let's see so when you connect it it'll show as zmt12 so that's the name that you will see okay so once it's connected 
to the phone uh, you have to open up shooting plus v3 this is just for the first time uh, then you will see all the games which are supported so these are the games supported now you will think that if uh, you are playing a game which is not in this list you cannot use this gamepad but no you have an option for that you can actually add a preset and choose any game or app from here and then customize the button so wherever the uh, you can uh, choose the layout you can actually drag and drop and put whatever you want uh, so we'll be taking a look at that now let me just show you how that works i'll go into any of the games so i don't need uh, to use a preset i can create my own now uh, all i have to do is when the game is on you can do it without that also but you get orientation issues so the game is on and all i have to do is press the start button here start button as soon as i press that the layout comes up over here and i can set my custom layout let me just remove that uh, let me show you how that works i'll go into controls custom layout now you see you're seeing the buttons here all i have to do is press this now you see that's how they set up the layout so wherever i want i can move it so let me just show you like if i press any button here it'll automatically come into the center then i can drag it and put it wherever i want and then save it that's it so in case you have a game where you don't have a layout you can custom make the layout that way and it's actually pretty easy i had a little bit of issues with call of duty where uh, the left and right uh, joystick was not that great i changed it to uh, i changed the setting for that let me just show you what i did so if you go into this setting i went into view and speed setting to one and then i used it that way so it worked perfectly after that now let me just close this so that's how you configure it so in case you have any other game which does not have the preset you can use it this way so all in all good option uh, the only problem i had was the right one so running jog running and jumping and everything is fine only when i have to aim it that was my problem so you have to get used to it it's uh, not that easy for me for getting used to the gamepad's uh, aiming system now the good thing with this is i can be running jumping shooting at the same time and turning at the same time so if you want to take your gaming one step up uh, you want to go into the pro level then these kind of devices the joy pads actually uh, the gamepad actually uh, helps a lot okay so that's how it works uh, now let's talk about the battery life this works for 12 hours continuously uh, and it charges fast now uh, one more thing i liked about this is if you want if the battery is going low and you're in a game all you have to do is maybe connect a power bank like this to it and it should start charging you'll see a blinking light here and it'll start charging and it's still working so you can use it while it's being charged also so you don't have to stop at all so if you want to go beyond 12 hours it'll even support that i won't suggest playing uh, continuously for more than 12 hours that's not good uh, for health purpose but in case that's your requirement you can still do that so uh, that's all that's all that i wanted to talk about this one um there there were a lot of doubts about this uh, even the uh, shopkeepers did not know uh, even uh, people online are asking a lot of questions regarding this so i've been using it for two months now i know everything about it in case you have any doubts go ahead comment uh, message me my uh, details are available in the description and at the end of the video so that's it uh, for this video if you like the video please subscribe with the like button and do comment and i'll see you again with another video bye bye